and Freddy. Oh wait, that's so cute. <laughs> we're the three pros. We're three pros, and we're also the three musketeers. Okay, the four pro skateers. Here's Jen and Freddy. Oh, wait, that's so cute. <laughs> Still waiting in line at the airport. Ready to go through security. pace and got ready for got meat. Some lunch. Yeah, we got some lunch at Chick-fil-A. Uh, what else? Just waiting to go to the back to the pool. Yeah, we're just going to go back to the pool a little bit later and probably get in again, loosen up a little bit again. Now for something completely different. One of the most common questions we get is, is stuff about shaving and is it hard and annoying? Both of which is yes. There's a big key to shaving and that's flipping. Um, normally we do it about a day before we shave, but it kind of just gets the bulk off. That way you don't get a clogged razor and, uh, and the like, which can lead to cuts and other unsavory things. Caleb, he just shaved my back. Um, so just talking about shaving for a second, there's a lot of questions that people have about shaving. Um, I'd say it's kind of two parts. One is feel, it's like a physical thing, gets away, of, uh, gets rid of hair, gets rid of dead skin, which is what the back is for. I don't really have any hair on my back, but it gets rid of dead skin. And the other thing is like feel and a confidence thing. So when you feel in the water, Caleb, what do you think it feels like when you first dive into the pool with no hair when you shave? Uh, probably like you're a dolphin. It's like a lot different, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a really big feel difference. Um, like there's an air bubble all the way like around your whole body or wherever you shave. Like, you, And if you look at your skin, it kind of looks silver too. Yeah. So there's no dead skin like absorbing the water. Yeah, so it's a big feel thing as, as uh, also with the drag. Um, so 
stuff like the back. That's that's why we do that. Hey guys, this is Freddy. He's on the Mizzou team. He's from uh, Denmark. So he's here to get some uh, qualifying times for his nationals. We haven't introduced him yet. And Caleb looks like Neo. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> San Antonio, I actually think about a place like Ibiza. Yeah? Like party and all that. Like partying? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what we're here for? No. <laughs> we're serious. We just stopped to get some lunch on the river walk. We're going with, uh, with some good Texas barbecue because we're a little Mexican fooded out. So that's all we've been doing since we got here. So yeah. Gonna eat some food. After that, you can head to the pool. No, go like 103. We just, we just got lunch, we got some barbecue, and now we're stuffed. So we're walking it off and then we're heading to the pool. Yeah, and it'll be good getting pumped for tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes, but I think I can do well. Yeah, we're pretty confident. Uh, we feel pretty good in the water. So uh, let's rep team race triumph. number one. Here yeah, we go. Race number one. Let's go. Day one, Nick beat Lochte head to head. I He's... went my second best time ever, even though I didn't make finals because that's not my event. But Caleb, but he, and but he smoked Lochte. Caleb and I are both back in B final. Caleb had a pretty good swim, 103.0, swam pretty well. He'll just have a little bit more edge tonight. I might have gotten a little excited. I smoked everyone to the uh, to the 50, 100, and 150, and then may have come back in a 35. So we'll be better tonight. Now we gotta sum it out. In lane one from Dallas Fuzz. cap this is a rough one um, this is kind of a learning moment teaching moment um, for people out there who are uh, swimming starting swimming we just need to hear this but sometimes things don't go your way um, it's back to the drawing board now we're 14 weeks out from trials ish um, Caleb and I did not get our wave two cuts so we'll be going to wave one um, and we'll just have to make the most of it there. Um, but 
sometimes things don't go your way. You've got to take what you can from that um, and be constructive. If it's not constructive, uh, there's no need to be negative. So um, we're going to take what we can from what happened here, go back to the drawing board, try to make it better, um, and reformulate strategy. But uh, it's a tough week. Good to get some racing in though. Um, and yeah, talk to you later.